sorry, I'm, I'm terribly sick. Uh, people say I'm delusional. I'm just here so they can leave me alone, but I'm not. Sorry, I'm delusional. I'm not delusional. I'm sorry. Hi, my name is Lisa Beta. I'm Russian. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gwendolyn. Um, I've always wanted to marry a man named Ernest. Anybody know anybody named Ernest? Anybody? Hi, I'm Lady Brocknell, and I don't know why I'm here. All these people, they're so lower class and imbeciles. Oh, I can't believe I'm here. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Marie. I'm not in denial. Hi, my name is Hester Prynne. A.K. Hess, and I am here because I have nowhere else to go, and my town hates me. Your name is not Hess, it's Hester. Now I know why you're here. I'm just a troublesome woman. No one no. understands. Hi, I'm Lisa Beta. Does anybody have money? I need money, I'm poor, okay? I'm poor. Alright, I need money. Raise your hand if you have money. I don't have any money, but do you know anybody named Ernest? Does he have money? I need money. Does he have money? Here, take my money. I just don't want to listen to you anymore. And Gwendolyn, darling, you must get off the subject of fairness. I have a list of completely prestigious men who are so well accomplished, come from great families. You know, I've always wanted my daughter to marry someone like I did. Ah, I just want you to stop associating yourself with this lower class girl. You hear me? Don't you understand? Begging is for the streets. This is a place of class. You don't do that here. I completely agree with you, Mrs. Compton. There is no place to tolerate such behavior. Right, Gwendolyn? Yes, Mama. I don't know about all of you, but in my world, I, my town hates me. No one wants me to come in near their house. No, I have no job. I have to feed myself and my baby, so I deserve that money. I have a boyfriend. Where is your husband? Is his name Ernest? Gwendolyn? No, his name is... Well, no, well... It's just a long story. My boyfriend's name is Nusa. Does he have money? No. He's away. But I love him very much. No one's acting proper. No wonder everybody hates you. No wonder everyone hates you, Miss Mary Poppins wannabe. Don't talk to my mother like that. <coughs> Why are you defending her? Obviously, she's so critical of you. <coughs> can everyone just get along, please? Just, can everyone just get along, please, please? <coughs> Why are you acting like you're all perfect? Isn't your husband locked away? Prison, he's away! Stop it! Stop it, all of you! I can't believe this! <gasps> I need a cookie. Anyways, <coughs> he doesn't even love you. Shut up. He loves me. Unlike this girl who doesn't even have someone. How dare you? I'm so lonely. Don't 
fret, darling. I have the perfect gentleman lined up for you. He studied at Oxford. He's a successful lawyer now. And you will be able to meet him when we get back home. Oh my god, mother! Shut up! The reason because I'm here is because of you. My mother does not let me marry who I want to marry. And I want to marry a person named Ernest. Gwendolyn, I had no idea you felt that way. I just want you... To have the happiness I had with money and wealth and just being well off. I mean, I just can't think of any better way to live. If everyone's admitting it, my family's a wreck. My husband's a drunk. My son doesn't have a job. And my, pre my daughter's knocked up by someone she doesn't even know. I understand you. I have to admit something to everyone. While my husband was away, I had an affair with a minister. If we're all being honest, my boyfriend really is in a way, he's in jail, and he doesn't really love me, or at least, I don't know, he doesn't really talk that much. At least I'm still pretty. <laughs> Are we going to do something about her? I mean, I don't know, you can go ahead and do something about her. I got a bunny now that I want to do. No, don't worry about her. Why are we worrying about me? Look how pretty I am. Is there something in my teeth? Uh, why would I want to do anything with her? I mean, ugh, that is just completely, completely improper. I am not supposed to touch anything, especially dead things. Oh, Ernest can come pick her up. I'll call him. Well, we got all our problems solved, so it was nice meeting you all. I agree. Where's Marie? Wait, did someone need me? Je m'appelle Marie. <laughs> <laughs>